Hello everybody, Princess and the Bear here, and we're in the Princess's Old Stopping Grounds. We had to get Mexican food in California because if you don't get Mexican food in California, you're doing it wrong. The Princess demands she gets, so we're gonna go get some food. So we're going to Ola Mendes, a, a world famous classic Mexican restaurant. Let's go get our Mexican on. Be sure to Ole. You heard the girl. Cheers. Ooh, that's smooth. That's really good. Agave. Yes. 100%. It's like 5 out of 5 tequilas. That is the most tequila, darling. You, you're a connoisseur. I love eating tequila, yeah. Oh, in that case. Oh, shit. Now I gotta go with... I gotta go with... <laughs> thousands were talking. And I'll, thousands of years ago, you're trekking. And you need a little liquid nitrogen, and that's what they used it for. Unfortunately, the mass oh. production and the greedalists made it so that they're using herbicides and pesticides for eight to 14 years. They're polluting the groundwater, the wow. soil, the air, the people. So ours is clean, because it's like, you know, you can't. Shit, I didn't even try. And you wake up like a champ. Shit. You wake up like a champ. Ooh, that's smooth. Tell me, boss. There's a difference between the good and the... That's true. I didn't give me the tequila fear. That feels nice. It's very nice. The good one answer. We got it here for what? 16. But try this. In honest opinion, don't, don't hurt my feelings. I'm curious. I really Oh, this smells delicious. Even kosher. Really? Kosher? From Club 33. <laughs> Salute. Ooh, it has a nice like aftertaste to it. It's like a maple Yeah, maple, I was just saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, turn that into like a syrup. Yes, win. That's good. Ooh, that's like whiskey. I could drink that straight. Yeah, exactly. Straight with a little bit of soda, and you're good. Ooh, yeah. Boss. Ola Mendes is a local but world famous restaurant. They're all over SoCal. Well, there's a few all over SoCal. Um, typically, it's you know your just a traditional table service restaurant, but in this current Padme Amidala, they have outdoor seating, which is kind of nice because it's actually the parking lot. And your chips and salsa come in this cool little bag. You got two chips and you got two salsas. Unfortunately, these chips are not vegan. So Bear's gonna be eating them. But we got stuff. I always love salsa. This is definitely not bottled, poured out of a jar, and served to you. It is unevenly chunky. The herbs smell fresh. Chips do too. I don't know what's in the chips that makes them not vegan. But I'm not gonna complain. More for me. Hope there's no mango in here. Mm. The one thrown tomato. Perfect. A level of spice, even with it being like a thin sauce, it's good. I love that. Four to five plus. I got them all for just for lunch. I'd be perfectly happy. You guys saw the tequila taste. That first tequila was right, smooth. Thank you for waiting. Ooh, me here. Thank you. Hibiscus. Yes. Five there. Pardon my reach. I made it heavy. Pardon me, brother. <laughs> That's all right. Appreciate you. First time reading three out of five claws. I would love to be able to get tequila that smooth all the time. Just, just if you don't post it online because they might be looking for me. Just to clarify, I was in the state of Washington. Not <laughs> <laughs> now that age, that barrel age, tequila, that was like a shot of whiskey. I would literally just drink that straight. Not on the rocks, just warm. That was a good tequila. Now for $16 a shot, it better be good. But like, that was amazing. I get that four and a half out of five claws. Can we say double and heavy? I am in heaven. 
This is a hibiscus margarita. I don't think we've had a hibiscus margarita but once at Epcot. So I'm curious to see how it, this is gonna taste. So the tequila is like strong and nice and you can taste it throughout. And the hibiscus gives it like this different, interesting aftertaste. I quite enjoy that a lot. Not my favorite margarita though, but really, really good. I would give it mm, four out of five tequilas. Maybe three and a half. Yeah, three and a half out of five tequilas. I want to start a national petition to make this the standard size of every margarita. If it's not as big as my face, send it back to that place it came from. <laughs> no. As a hibiscus margarita, I was expecting it to be a lot more floral, and it's not. You can taste it, but it pairs well with the tequila, comes down smooth. It's almost like a like a sangria tequila sort of like smoothness and lightness, but it's still really strong. It's definitely a double. I can have these by the beach all day long. Four out of five plus. Which one's this one? Just like your regular? Anyo margarita. Um, on, on hail. Um, on hail. I don't remember. I'm gonna butcher the name of this margarita, so I'm just not even gonna say it. It's in the description box. Just look at the description box. It almost tastes like that lightness that you would get in a cucumber margarita, but without the cucumber. That is also a very interesting mark. I like it. I don't think, I think my drink is stronger than his, unless this one is like one of those creeper drinks. Um, I'd probably give it the same rating, like three and a half out of five tequilas. Yeah. I'm, from now on, I am calling uh, Dana Point, the Pacific Coast Highway, the Land of the Goblets. I'm not complaining. Ooh, it's interesting. I was expecting it to be more spicy, but it's more of like a, it's got orange liqueur in it, which sort of like covers up the spicy and mixes well with the tequila. So it's more like a, it's more orange than, than margarita, but it's still really good. These things feel dangerous, but I think I like the business one a little bit better. This, Three and a half out of five plus. This is the vegan vegetable enchilada. It's got some beautiful salsa on top. I'm gonna cut the middle, just so you can see what's inside. Can't really see much in there, can you? It's like mostly white, but all right, let's, let's, uh, let's see what this is like. Oh, it's potato, that's why it's all white. So there's potato in here, lots of corn, um, tomato, onion, chili, zucchini, squash, the good stuff. Mm, oh my god. I know it's legit because it's in a corn tortilla. It's a very like light on the seasoning while still being authentic and delicious. I would give this a um, three out of five tomatoes. Curiouser and curiouser. It's definitely interesting. I like a place that's like what alt meets. Don't need them, don't know them. We don't, we didn't graduate in the same school. We don't live in the same city. But this has like everything. It's tomato, the tortilla. And it's filled with veggies, which I'm not mad about. Cause you're a vegan that doesn't eat veggies. I don't know what you're doing with your life. Like, 
they bring fresh the flavors the corn tortilla has a nice touch it feels kind of like steamed vegetables and tortilla though i like the flavor but i'm horribly in love with it three out of five plus i wouldn't eat it again though in honor of my hometown i got the laguna beach burrito you can get burritos two ways regular burrito or wet burrito Wet basically means they put like stuff on the top to make it wet. I got a wet burrito. I'm gonna cut it open for you so you can see what it looks like inside. <laughs> you got some quinoa, you got some veggies, you got some guac, you got some goodness up in here. And like, you're gonna have to unhinge your jaw to eat this because this burrito is massive. I'm mostly excited because I have never really had quinoa inside a burger with like beans and all this goodness. So I'm kind of anxious to see what this tastes like, even though it kind of looks like goop. Mm. Oh yeah. This is a lot more flavorful than the enchilada. It's like a full meal together. Everything that you want, you're super satisfied. This is a top shelf burrito. I'm gonna give this four and a half out of five tomatoes. Definitely, if you come to Ola Mendy's, get the Laguna Beach burrito. It's amazing. Boy, I absolutely love the cross section. It's full of colors, stacked full of like everything that you want. Because the quinoa, the tomato, the guac, the lettuce just looks like you aren't ready for this. It's like WAP if it was a burrito. Just it's an absolute mess, but it looks like it's worth it. Mm. I was not expecting all those flavors to add up be that good especially since I've always been like not in quinoa's camp I'm a hard sell on quinoa this other hand I think I'm sold this I would definitely come and eat this on what it's been like but packed full of flavor I brew for the first time that I haven't been mad at quinoa on a burrito first time I've had quinoa on a burrito or quinoa or anything I mean, it's four to five plus I proof. I went with the enchilada combo. Rice, beans, and then two enchiladas, your choice of protein. It was an odd mix, but I got steak and fish. I guess I'm trying to do like my own surf and turf enchiladas here, but here we are, and the surf isn't far away. You know, it looks absolutely deliciously and decadently cheesy. Let's go for this fish enchilada first. Get a little bit of the surf, and then we'll get a little bit of the turf. Oh yes, filled with delicious white fish and a corn tortilla, topped with cheeses, <laughs> falling apart. You really don't even need the knife. Mm. Fish perfectly cooked all the way through. The cheese, the tomatoes, the peppers, all fantastic flavors. That on its own, I'll give three and a half out of five plus. As for the steak, there are definitely sizable cuts of steak in here with the same toppings as the fish. Mm. Cool. The steak, I definitely taste more flavorful, not super chewy. Super tender steak, wow. four to five plus. Some rice, get some of the beans. Florida does not know name about Mexican food at all. I was a hard sell when Princess first introduced me. They're not even in the same country. Overall, I'm gonna give the whole plate three and a half out of five plus. I wish we get food like this every day. Mm. Ola Mendes, a whole lot of food.
I love me some Ola Mendes. This is my old stomping grounds. This is my beach. It smells like the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> Atlantic Pacific? Yeah. Pacific, I think, is way better than Atlantic. Of course you would. You're a little biased. And so are you. I mean, I'm not completely How biased. How about you guys tell us which, which ocean you prefer? Honest truth here. But either way, Ola Mendes is a classic stop here on PCH. We love the food. We would definitely come back here again. The princess cannot get enough of this place. We were going to drive 40 minutes. <laughs> so we want to know, would you visit Ola Mendes? If so, let us know in the comments. Is there any other place in Southern California that we have missed? By all means, let us know. And we'll maybe we'll check it out. Until then, uh, hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And like this video. Whoop, whoop. Love all the menus. Okay, one second. Okay, all right. 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 Ok